keep up that sort of form if they can hope to make it to the semis. Your commentary team is Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, to get a place in the last eight of this tournament, as these two teams have, a great compliment to both. What a chance! The goalkeeper paying the price. The goal unguarded, the goal conceded. Well, looking at the replays, the keeper's hardly ever in shot. He's so far away from his base and... Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 92 and today I'm bringing you a brand new episode of the National Squad Builder series. And as you can tell by the title of the video and the name of that squad, that is of course going to be Uruguay. Now this was a really really fun squad and if you're new to my channel please stay tuned throughout the video as I have the highlights embedded through each player as they score. Now we're starting off with the goalkeeping position and he was actually very very good. I talked about him last year and really enjoyed playing with him. This year I'd say he's even better. Never had any complaints of course, it is FIFA 14 so there is going to be some mistakes uh, made by goalkeepers because of that little glitch thing. But they've updated it now and he's a very very solid goalkeeper. The first centre back is going to be our highest rated centre back and this is going to be good and I believe that's pronounced. Six foot one. Got medium, medium work rate. He's got the anchor chemistry card on him. 20, 21 games, 20, uh, 2 goals. He's very solid. I would say he was the weakest of the three centre-backs, but again, the weakest is a little bit harsh because he is a very good centre-back. The next centre-back is going to be someone that was a right-back, I believe. I'm pretty sure that was him anyway. And that is going to be six foot. Uh, I can never say his name. Not even going to try. But he's got high defensive work rate. And look at that pace. 81 pace. And I've got the center card on there. 81 defender and 78 heading or something like that. Very, very strong center back. Probably one of the best center backs I've actually used. Because he's got all that pace and all that uh, high defensive work rate. Now the center back is someone who I absolutely love right now. And this is why I love doing a national squad builder. Because it shows you players like this. He's got high low. But uh, high defensively and low offensively. He's 21 games. Two goals. And he was one of my, uh, he actually ran the Juventus centre back close to being one of the best centre backs I've used definitely try this guy if you can, he's phenomenal he never really made any mistakes, really really strong in the ball and fantastic in the air the first centre defensive mid is an absolute tank he's got medium medium but don't let that fool you he never goes forward, he's got 5 assists in 21 games, never even came close to scoring lads, this guy's shooting his horrendous um, but he's not about that him and his defensive partner Rios, I believe that's a Rojas or something that's pronounced are absolutely phenomenal at centre of defensive mids. They're unbelievable how good they are. They just break up everything. He's actually got high defensive work rate. And he's got a pretty high pace as well. But them two, honestly, try them. Just They're so good. They just break up the play. They've got great aggression stats, great strength stats, great stamina stats. They're absolutely brilliant. The right mid is going to be Sanchez. And he was another one that surprised me. I thought maybe he was just going to be all about the pace. But he's got very good aggression stats, very good uh, stand and tackle, tackle stats. That's why I have him in the right mid of my 3-5-2. And I've also got the anchor card on him as well just to help with the defensive. Because he does a lot of tracking back. Even though he has gone, uh, he probably looks like a great offensive player. He does, uh, does a lot defensively, which really helps the squad out. And he's just pretty good. He's got 21. Uh, he's got eight goals in 21 games and five assists, two yellow cards, which is pretty good for a player who's got high attack and work rate and only medium defensive. But he does track back a lot. So don't let that medium defensive sort of go. Mm, that's maybe not good in a three-five-two. But he's very, very good. So try him as well. Very cheap. And the next player is going to be Juventus man, and I believe he was my left back last year, so I don't know what's happening with the positions of Uruguay, no wonder they're struggling to qualify for the World Cup, everyone's just playing anywhere. Two goals out of him in 21 games, very solid, he's actually very good defensively, he's more defensively than he is offensively, but he's just, uh, he's a solid player. The, the centre attack had someone I uh, had a lot of trouble with actually, I used a lot of players, had a lot of rotations with the squad, but he's my favourite, Ramirez, absolutely loved him last year. Medium low, he's got 4 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot, there you go, played 11 games, 5 goals and 4 assists, very very good turnaround for a person, only cost me 400 coins. I do have the Hunter um, card on him as well, that I believe that does pace and shooting, but I'm going to, I have as well on my centre attacking mid spot is Hernandez, he ha he's a phenomenal card last year, he was very overpowered as a striker but now he's in a silver Serie B so you can pick him up pretty cheap and he's still the exact same card, everything's the exact same, same about him and Sanchez was someone I played a lot of games with as well thinking he'd be phenomenal because I remember a few years ago he was very expensive and I believe 5 star skill moves and there you go, there's a nice little skill uh, go, I think that's one of the first highlights of so far of the squad actually maybe even the second one, that was really really good ball control, that's what he was good at he was sort of weak, that's why I didn't really like him. I like Ramirez. Ramirez got a bit of strength to him, and that's why I ended up choosing him over Sanchez. The first strikers are going to be someone you're probably all here to see him and his uh, offensive partner. And that's going to be Cavani. He's just brilliant. He's, he's so strong. Just 
unbelievably strong actually, he's very like Ibrahimovic, just holds off the players, finish with either foot, either foot's not a worry with him, fantastic in the air, he's his shot power from anywhere, just phenomenal, his finesse shot's brilliant, there you go, shoves this guy right in his ass, um, this guy did have really low stamina and I did sort of destroy him, but still, shoving him like that and then just doing a relay and finishing with an absolute blast in the bottom right, was a very, very good finish, no matter your opponent, you only can beat what, what is in front of you, um, this guy had really low stamina, but Cavani just absolutely teaches this guy a lesson, this guy had a crazy team, like, uh, like the best Brazil team you could ever think, he had like a Neymar and everything, uh, Thiago Silva, Dante, etc. And Cavani just gave them the run around. He just killed them this game. Absolute tore Thiago Silva an absolute new ring. But um, as well here you go, Sa Suarez, spoiler, <laughs> plays a fantastic ball over the top. They do that a lot to each other. Just touches it, look at the touch, and he just finishes perfectly into the right. He was phenomenal. He actually didn't score in the last, fi uh, last five games, but then he scored in his very last game, and I think it was a 2-1 win. So he waited that whole five games without scoring, which is very, very strange. I see that his stats were 21 uh, games, 22 goals, and also I think it's 14 assists, which was very insane. But this guy is exactly like that Suarez. He was just, he was a slow starter actually. Cavani was the one that was scoring all my goals in the first like 15 games, and then Suarez sort of took over to the last 50, eh, the last odd games, and he was just scoring hat tricks left, right, and centre. Either foot, long shots, uh, very, very good skill moves. Got great, great uh, ball control. I'll show you that and not coming high. That was probably one of the best goals I did score with Suarez. As you go, just showing you shot power from outside the box as well. Just devastating shot power. No one near that the goalkeeper is. He's got good pace as well. I was I was actually surprised how quick he was. He raced away from Danny Alves in that Brazil game to score one of the goals as well. But this is the ball control I was talking about. That I I've done that a lot and that saved me a lot of time, especially against the better opponents that pressed you really fast as you saw there. He just takes one touch, dead ball, turns, fantastic finishing, and just overall great play. Here is again it's just showing you so you don't think that's a fluke. Here you go, a little turn and just finishes again. Probably, if I was going to say who's better out of Cavani and Suarez, I'd probably say, oh shit, that's actually a hard one. Um, I'd probably say Suarez just because he scored more goals and had more assists. But they're two phenomenal, phenomenal players. If you pick up either of them, they'll do a, certainly do a job for you. Go 21 games, 26 goals and 16 assists. So that's the team, lads. Go ahead and try that squad. I'll show you some of the little back players as well. Uh, Fernandez, I cannot say that. I think that's Fernandez or whatever it is. He's a very good player as well. Um, Diego Forlan as well. And of course, wait now. Before we finish off the squad, we've got to have the legend that is Pizzini in there. Um, let's see. There we go. Bing, bang. Bosh. There he is. Um, so the best player of the squad is going to be Cavani, Suarez. Honourable mentions. And the centre backs and the both centre defensive mids. The weak link, there's going to be no weak links. I really enjoyed this squad. Going to give it a 10. If you can afford this squad, lads, it is pretty cheap, actually. I think it's under around 100k, something like that. If you can pick up the squad, go ahead and try it. And as always, I've been CJ Novo92. Thank you for watching, and bye bye.